tonight on CTV News, we have a look at one of the voting locations right here on campus. Plus, later we have an interview. Plus, we have weather, sports, and entertainment. All this starting now on CTV News. Good evening and thanks for tuning in to CTV News. I'm Emily Biffinger. And I'm Willis Scott and here is your latest update in the world. This morning, students had the opportunity to ask questions of Colorado State University's Tony Frank's Cabinet and their deans. Coffee with Cabinet and Donuts with Deans is an event coordinated by Nick Bond, the Director of Outreach for Associated Students of CSU. Tony Frank was not in attendance since he is in Washington, D.C. today. Those in attendance included Blanche Hughes, Vice President of Student Affairs, Nick Miranda, Provost and Executive Vice President, Joe Parker, Director of Athletics, and the deans of each college. Bond hopes it will be an opportunity for students to get to know administration outside of the university setting. Donald Trump was at the University of Northern Colorado on Sunday. Trump said he would spend the next nine days with the American people speaking positively. He was critical of Hillary Clinton's tax plan, which he believes will raise tax rates. Other issues Trump briefly touched on were fracking in the middle class. He said eventually fracking will cease to exist in America. Trump promised the crowd to lower taxes for the middle class by millions of dollars. He asked the crowd if they were concerned about the legitimacy of the voting process and ballots being counted properly. He encouraged the crowd to check on their ballots after voting. Since Colorado residents have received their ballots, voting centers have opened across the state. Larimer County has 16 voting centers open until Tuesday, November 8th. The Lori Student Center is one of these voting areas and Larimer County Clerk Angela Myers has advice for voters. The Lori Student Center here at Colorado State University has transformed into one of the largest voting centers in Larimer County. County Clerk Angela Myers has a few tips for student voters. Uh, vote early. Please, please vote early. Here's a couple reasons why. When you vote early, you, um, you ensure that uh, those messages that you get, those voicemails, those uh, mailings that you get from candidates and issues, those kind of evaporate because there's no, they don't send them to people who've already voted. Secondly, the process is completely different now than the way it used to be. All of our processing of those votes, or 99.9% of it, happens after the fact because we're getting mail ballots in. Please don't ever take a selfie with your ballot, your voted ballot. Um, it is illegal in the state of Colorado to take a selfie with your voted ballot. Don't give your ballot to someone else to drop off. Be sure you drop your own ballot uh, because we take great care with it. When it's in the postal system, it is under federal protections. So don't give it to someone else because you don't know their life is happening too. Something else may take precedence over getting that dropped in and you just don't want to take any chances with your ballot. No, it was super easy. Like they just asked you to turn off your cell phone, which kind of hurt. And then they just asked for your, um, just like a photo ID and then just give them your address and they just give you a ballot and you can bring it in and drop it off whenever or you can just do it right there. Remember, the voting site itself is, a, is kind of a sacred area. No electioneering within the 100 foot limit, no cell phones in the, in the, in the site itself. Uh, the reason, I mean, if you need it for your cheat sheet, print that cheat sheet out because you will not be able to use your cell phone inside of the um, voting center. Um, and within 100 foot of the site, no electioneering, so leave those caps, leave those shirts off or turn them inside out or whatever because um, that's, a, that's a sacred area where it, you, just the voting and we take great care with that. So be sure to follow those. For more information, please visit larimer.org slash elections. That is all for news, but coming up, we will be joined by Nicholas Morris. And later we have weather, sports, and entertainment.